I was shit scared of it, to be honest. That's that's the my honest. <laughs> I was so scared of the scene. What do you? What scene do you imagine your character had that didn't go into the show? Is there something that you know backstory or in the future or outside the show that you can kind of envisage your character uh, going through that didn't get into the show? Who wants to go first? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Lydia, you've got the mic. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Jill. More of more of Jill and Richie, Jill and Richie would singing, <laughs> doing their show. Oh no! Um, uh, yeah, I think Jill, because at first it was kind of implied that Jill had a thing for Richie, and did maybe that was in my <laughs> character research. <laughs> no, I think that was no. No. Uh, six minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, Jill and Richie's wedding. Yeah. <laughs> it would have happened. I remember quite vividly having a conversation with, with Russell because Russell used to come to set and because he was always there, his presence, whether it was over the phone or whether he was he would come to set, he was always felt massively. And I remember one day he came to set and I wasn't filming, but these guys were. And, and like, I, I, I'm such like, I was like, oh, I just was, oh, Russell, how are you doing? Like, cause, and he was quite busy, he was, watching, he was watching these guys act. But I was like, oh, I, we're filming that scene next week. And it was the, it was the scene that um, we're calling, it, it's, the, it, it's the AIDS diagnosis scene. And I was like, like, what, what, like, what do you think? Cause I, I, it's been playing on my mind a lot. And, and Russell was like, just go for it, and and in a way, <laughs> that they, they's that that they, that says so much about what he's like and how generous he is. He, he you know, I'm I was the first time actor. I, I had sort of everything to prove, and he was just like go for it. And, and there was no like, and there was no note he gave that was sort of directly like profound, but it it was so profound, and he was so brilliant at supporting us. I think all of us, right? Like he was, he just knew what to say, when to say it, and and as a working with someone for the first time, someone like Russell, who is obviously a bloody genius. He was so uh, amazing and, and yeah, it, w it was very supportive. Just mm. a lot of support, I think. That's what led to it. Does everyone die? Of AIDS? We don't know. Does every single person die? Yeah, they do. I read your stuff. That's what it says. It says no one survives. Oh, mommy, make them do something. I don't want to die. <laughs> How does it feel like watching it back and thinking about when you filmed it? Yeah, it's. They, 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 I was, I was shit scared of it to be honest. That's that's the my honest. <laughs> I was so scared of the scene because it's things you know you read. And I, 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 I first read it when I went to when I was at drama school. Because that's when I when I auditioned, and, and I think it, I was so scared of that scene. But I think Peter was so great at just like breaking things down with me, and you know, just like it's worth saying that you know, like the the dementia scenes, Peter would always give a note, just like play the you know play it. like you know he's he, the football shirt he's seeing here, and it's it's really just just breaking it down and breaking Russell's lines down really as one by one. And I think Peter is an amazing director, and he. He won a BAFTA yesterday, which is so amazing, yeah. and and he deserves it because he was so brilliant at that stuff. And, and also, Lydia was a great scene partner. She made me laugh too many times. No, <laughs> <laughs> times where she shouldn't have. You're acting with with these guys, but also with some legends as well. How, how did how did you approach the whole thing? Um, I was really nervous. I, I w w when Lydia was speaking about the read through, then I have a vivid memory of getting on the train from Wolverhampton that day and, and, and getting into that office and just feeling so overwhelmed by just the magnitude of the situation. And and I had, you know, I was always aware of Russell's work and it was just, you know, it was so bizarre to me that we were all in the room together and, and, and reading. And I remember I, be, I was so nervous. I, I had to sit on my hands. My hands were like shaking when be, be, before we started that read through. But I think the thing that I was kind of, the thing that was so nervous but also thrilling for me was that you know reading reading that character reading Roscoe and sort of um there is such an inherent kind of um rebellion and sort of like audaciousness in him I was I was nervous to lean into that but sort of I think in those moments you can only really rely on your instincts 
Um, and of course, when, when, when you're doing something for the first time, it's really, really easy to kind of overthink things. But I feel like that because we had everyone else around us, it, 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 it just felt really supportive. And so, um, yeah, you just have to lean into instincts and, 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 I, and I had so much fun, so yeah. And Roscoe is an incredibly fun character in some ways, isn't he? Is that, is that there within you anyway, like that kind of larger than life quality? Or is that something you had to kind of find? Yeah, I think so. I, 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 I think I found it, but I think uh, th there was an element of being able to build that up as well, because um, I think that element of him as, as, as a person is also part of the, the rejection from his family. I think, you know, he has to find a new route through life and I and, and, and he manages to find that that but you know being able to build those elements up of, of, of him came from things like his you know what he wore and um, I'll never forget my first fitting that I did with Ian Fulcher and Laura it was amazing it was completely amazing because it, it Roscoe represents you know, a, a, a generation of people who were using all of those things like aesthetics. It, it was sort of political as well. What what they were doing, and they were they were saying things about themselves, and 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 they had a, something to say to the rest of the world and and society because you know they they felt rejected, so they wanted to put themselves on a pedestal and be seen. And he is someone who wanted to be seen, and he wanted to protect himself. So there were so many elements. Is there a specific scene or moment from it that still sticks with you over a year after it aired? Because yeah. I've always wanted to say this. Um, there's the, for me, it's the, the moment where um, Richie learns that he has HIV. I, I think that's like one of the best bits of acting I've ever seen. Like Ollie just goes like translucent and he doesn't do anything. And I think that for me was the most impactful moment because I thought, <gasps> I'm, a gay, I'm a gay guy and I've always had a bit of worry that, oh, okay, you know, maybe I need to get tested for this. So I know what it feels like to be in that moment, but like, I don't know, I think you spoke for a lot of people who just, that the fear just seemed to be in that moment for me. I thought that was exceptional and that's what I learned the most. Well done all. He deserve a BAFTA. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>